Hello, good morning, all you wonderful people. I uh, just wanted to make a quick video to uh, make sure you know about this quiz live thing we're going to try out tomorrow. Um, so <clears throat> on Google Classroom, um, there's a new post. Uh, let me get rid of this video to distract you. Uh, this is Google Meet Virtual Classroom. So tomorrow, Wednesday at 10 o'clock, you can click this link. It'll take you to a Google Meet, just like so. Um, most of you that have been on, but if you haven't been on, <clears throat> make sure that before you click join now, um, go ahead and turn off your microphone. And then if you don't want to see yourself, you can turn the camera off too. That's up to you. And then uh, join now. That will have you join the Google Meet. And then what's gonna happen is uh, I will open up um, our Quizlet study and I'll project my screen onto all of yours and we'll do a live session and we'll do individuals uh, since we it would be a little bit more complicated to get into teams. Um, and so then using what you can see on my screen tomorrow, it will give us the code and you'll just uh, you'll just go and open up a new tab and uh, type in quizlet.live, type in the code, it'll have us all join and then we'll play some Quizlet Live together. And uh, like it says on the uh, post on Google Classroom, if you read carefully, um, the winners of the diff of the sessions that we do, we'll see how many sessions we can do. Um, but the students who win will uh, get extra credit points that they can apply to their choice of assignment from this trimester. Uh, so that will be fun, and uh, hopefully that motivates you to be there, a little bonus. Uh, so that's I just wanted to make sure you were aware of that and show you kind of how it's going to be done so you can plan ahead and, and, and know what to expect. The other thing I want to talk about real quick, your presentations. Um, the presentations that I've been seeing coming back in are getting better and better. Um, they are taking me a while to grade, and I just noticed, I didn't know that um, they weren't sending me an email every time you turned it in. So if you look here, like all these people, I haven't graded those yet because I didn't get an email. I don't know why I get emails for some people when they turn it in. Um, but I realized that I'm not getting emails for everyone that's turning in. So there's a lot to grade. I'm going to try to get to as many as I can today. But I wanted to say, if you <clears throat> if you watched the video that I posted about the presentation on week six, um, and you learned a little, let's say this one, the pollution solutions. If you haven't watched that, please go watch it so that you can do high quality good work. Um, and if you watch it and you've already turned it in, you can go, I'm not sure how, where, what it looks like, but I'm pretty sure if you open up the post, um, you'll see that it says turned in. And I think over here on the right-hand side, there should be a button that says unsubmit or something like that. Um, because once you turn it in, it becomes kind of locked so that you can't go in and edit it anymore. But because I'm getting some emails where it says like you're requesting access to it, um, that's probably because you already turned it in. Um, all you need to do is come into Google Classroom again on week five and unsubmit or unturn it in. I don't know what it says exactly, but um, unsubmit it and then it'll open it back up to you and then you can click on it, open it and make changes. So that's what I wanted to say is that please watch so that I can grade these quicker. I'm not going to I'm not going to provide as much feedback as I did before I made that video. Before I made the video, I was I was going in and commenting on every slide and telling you exactly what you could do. But since I made that video and that kind of talks about that, um, I'm I'm probably just going to say like watch the video if I see and maybe I'll underline some stuff or highlight something that I think you would want to change. But if you know that there's things that you should change after watching that video, you're like, oh, I didn't do a good job on that. I didn't do that right. Go to Google Classroom. Go to week five. Unsubmit it if you already turned it in and work on it some more, and then you can turn it back in. Um, and on that note, since I'm not getting emails, I don't know if when you turn it in, if it says like email teacher, but go ahead and click that so that I get an email. That way I can know for sure to check it. But now that I found out that I'm not getting emails, I will be going through. So if you're wondering, like I turned it in and I haven't gotten points yet, that's probably why it's because I didn't get an email and I didn't know that it was turned in. Oh, excuse me. 
All right, so I hope that makes sense and helps a little bit. But yeah, keep working on your presentations. They're looking good. They're getting better. Those of you who have taken them back and changed stuff, definitely improved your presentations. Um, you can change things. I mean, feel free to change it up. If you don't like the format, if you don't like, uh, I know one student changed it completely and did a really good job. You can add slides if you want to add more information that you find that you think is important and interesting and then worth sharing with people. Feel free to change things up. You do not have, this is, we just made this slideshow, this format, just to help you have something to get you started and make it easier. But, um, I mean, if you look, I can you, you can change everything and you can add slides. If you just click on a slide and press enter, it'll pop up a new slide. Sorry, I lied. That wasn't right. Um, if you copy and paste it, oh wait, that did pop up a new slide. Yeah, and then you can you can change it. You can delete all these boxes and add your own text box where you want it. Um, you know, play around with it. It's it's great to we're learning about ecosystems, but it's also great to learn how to uh, use these things on technology, these slides to to create stuff. Um, and on that note, if you're interested, if you haven't done your solution pollution solutions yet, I know it says pollution, um, but it's basically ecosystem problems. I was watching a show last night about the national parks, and there's a national park in Florida called the Everglades, and there's a big um, invasive species, which is the Burmese python. They are uh, that's a big problem to those ecosystems. The python um, doesn't have any predators and it's just reproducing and its numbers are growing and they can practically kill everything in that place. So, I mean, they're just destroying those ecosystems. So if you're interested in doing that, if you haven't done one, picked one yet, there you go. All right. I've talked long enough. So don't forget Quizlet Live tomorrow, 10 o'clock. Um, go to Google Classroom, click the link to join right here. Uh, and, you know, study up today, be prepared because winners will get extra credit and then keep it up working on your presentations. Thanks guys. We'll see you on the next video. Bye.